Hi, my name is Cindy Weinstein. I'm a Senior Clinical Director in Research and Immunology at Merck's Respiratory and Immunology Department. The uh, purpose of the LABA safety study grew out of concerns about the safety of long-acting beta agonists, their chronic use, uh, noting by the FDA that there was not much information on um, whether ICS use, inhaled corticosteroids, would mitigate any safety risks, specifically serious asthma outcomes that were observed, including deaths in earlier studies. So this study was designed to evaluate whether the addition of formoterol, a long-acting beta agonist, in combination with uh, mometasone furate, an inhaled corticosteroid, would mitigate that risk in comparison to the inhaled corticosteroid or mimetazone furate alone. So the Merck results uh, show that in a fixed dose combination product, um, Dulera, where the ICS and LABA are um, provided in a single uh, inhaler, that there are no additional risks of serious asthma outcomes compared to the inhaled corticosteroid alone, so mimetazone and all of the outcomes were asthma-related hospitalizations. In other words, we did not observe any asthma-related intubations and deaths, which was the primary driver of the study. I think um, you know, physicians should be reassured by the study results um, in two ways. It reinforces the important role that Dulera has in the management of adolescent and adult patients with persistent asthma that no new safety signals were observed. And in addition, that there was a reduction in um, asthma exacerbations uh, with Dulera over um, that of the asthmanex or the mometasone purate uh, product alone.